I've had a phone call from young Hugo from New England Power and Solar and he said all the parts are here so could we come today he said. Well, while I'm waiting for them I'll show you this is the nectarine tree and already it's in bud and this one the plum the mariposa plum it's not quite as quick to bud up but it is and the olive tree same comfrey foxgloves some bulbs and some annuals that i put in just yesterday this is the almond and it is covered in buds so it's looking really good um this is the new apricot it looks like it's settled in well and it has it has buds on it Round the bottom here, there are com there are some comfrey plants, but uh, as yet we can't see them. And these are the pebbles that uh, I got out with my friend Ronnie. Um, this is the gala apple. It's got new growth, lots of new growth. The Granny Smith apple, same thing, about eight inches of growth and lots and lots of buds. Cherry tree that I got about a kilo from last year has grown the same and lots and lots of buds all the way along. So uh, the kilo that I got last year, well, maybe this year I get two kilos. <laughs> the gooseberry and looking very uh, bare, but it has got buds on it. That has been moved as has the fig. Double graft apple. I recently did the garden bed around this. It has strawberries at the bottom and lots of buds. This cherry yet to do around the bottom of this tree but it's got great buds on it so we are going to have cherries. Quick whip around the veggie garden. Everything is going well. All these uh, young broccolis, collies, cabbages at the back interspersed with lettuces. I've been giving whole plants of the curly kale to the chickens and they really like it. And look how it all grows down the stem and you can just take off a piece of that when it gets a bit bigger, stick it in the ground and you've got a whole new plant. <laughs> look at the size of this daikon radish. It's huge, but as they bring up good nutrients from down deep, I'm leaving it. More little lettuces growing in there. The leeks are doing well. I've eaten some. Garlic all split up. A nice little sweet pea up the back there. Garlic, garlic, garlic. And here's one of those little curly kales that I just put in there. And they will grow. Um, the fennel. The fennel has been delicious, I tell you, braise your fennel, put a little bit of butter in your pan, slice the fennel thinly, saute it in the butter and then add lemons, uh, orange zest and orange juice. It is so nice. I'm going to do it all the time. Let's have a quick look around the trees before they get here. Down the pathway, here we go. Just me this time, the little cat's inside. Here's a tea tree doing really well. They're all doing well since we got so much rain. <laughs> this down here with a bit of cow manure is actually an oak tree from an acorn. I moved the ginkgo biloba to here because it actually likes a moist area. We'll see how it goes. This is the Karajong. Still not doing anything, but not dead either. What have we got? We've got the red flowering gum. I'll just check. Hasn't got any bugs in the end there. It's doing well. It is now. Oh my gosh, look. Mid thigh. Whatever this is is not looking so oh i put a silky oak in there that's right i put one silky oak tree because this whoops this is dead and the gum on the dam here looking really good 
I'll stand up there and see how tall it is. And it was only about, oh, look, hip height. Hip height already, and it was, I don't know, maybe three inches tall when I put it in. I've been planting things all the way around the edge of this damn pond puddle. And uh, of course, there's still water. The birds are still happy. I'm going to move all these rocks away. I don't like rockeries and I'm, I'm not going to use glyphosate. So I'm just going to move the rocks and, and mow around the plants. Um, yesterday I did this and uh, dug it over and found a few spuds around the uh, wild tobacco plants, which are, you know, a good pioneer species. I've put another a Grevillea, an Australian native, a Callistamon, beg your pardon, and uh, Calendulas, and they're all doing well. Nice, wasn't it? Young Hugo's here with a truckload of stuff, and Rob's the guy that used to own this business, so he's sort of come out of retirement just briefly to work, maybe, you know, with the new young fella. I don't know, but Hugo's really nice. He's always been really polite. So I'm happy with that. Now in he goes into there. He's gonna back up down the side of the house. So he's, he's got a bit more room. And this sounds like the next half. This is indeed the next half coming along. This is Rob. Okay, now we have two. Good morning, Rob. How you doing? All right, come on, that's better, nice smile. That's where the panels are going, up there. And now, it seems like the battery's gonna go up, up here somewhere. Wasn't my first choice, but Somehow that's how things work out. There's all the bits and pieces. Lots of, lots of bits for a small sort of unit, isn't it? Well, well it's just as much work putting in a little one as a big one. Uh huh, okay. No difference. All right. All the, the bits and pieces aren't actually going where I was told they would be going. They're going up on the wall right now. They're kind of working out where they're going to put the inverter. And then the battery has to be away from a window. And as I have windows everywhere, that wasn't so easy. So, but we found a spot. And um, that's where it's going to go, so... So do tell Hugo, what are you doing here? <laughs> uh, we're making up a box for all your switches. Um, so it'll look nice, fit in with the rest of the house. Um, I know, it looks like you're using recycled timber there. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to go. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, the white, you know, it'll stand out a bit, but I think it'll be pretty good. <laughs> So I fed them soup, they seem to like it. Rob's gone back to construct a box for the battery. Hugo's, ah, he's doing the wiring for here from the solar panels to the battery. Pity the battery can't go kind of in there. I'll ask him. Hugo, the battery can't go in there, huh? No, it won't breathe properly. Um, oh. Yeah, that can breathe. Show me you in your new hat. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Hugo hugging the hut. He likes it so much he's hugging it. <laughs> and I can smell the herbs, they smell beautiful. That's alright. Mm. So they will grow. 
Bait time. That's time. This one's lemon time. Ah, that's what yeah, that one's uh, uh, chamomile. Oops, that's a grinder. Good morning. And it is a good morning too. Um, I have a few little things to tell you. But the first one is, I need some milk in my cup of tea. I'll just go to the fridge. Look at this. Now I just go to the fridge. And uh, again, this is a Bushman fridge, like the, you know, the, the same brand as the one in the, in the van. And it is so quiet. I love it. So if I have a fridge, that must mean that I have solar power, and I do. I have nearly everything. I've just got to wait for the external 240 socket and a 12 volt plug to go into my, um, pu into my pump for my shower. So this is uh, where it ended up. So I call this my spa room, but it's not of course, this is my storage room of various things and here it is it's a easy solar mppt 100-50 anyway that's what it is and it kind of got a lot of leads and things and it controls everything the closest switch to the to the door is here so these are light switches uh, power points and usbs so we'll go for a, a quick little look before my tea gets cold and it's still frosty this morning Oy. see i'm not kidding it's frosty this morning anyway from here you can see the panels on the roof see what a beautiful day it is and the battery which is a 3.3 kilowatt lithium battery um, is in its own little box outside because you have to have lots of um, air around a battery you have clearance it can't be inside it can't be under a window that's a better looking cup of tea this is just a quick little vid um, to show that I now have solar it is so good it is so good Rob came out of retirement and Hugo who's doing work experience and they were both so lovely I have to say they were really lovely and I worked with them um, because I like to work on things on my own little shack and I did kind of the TA stuff the pass me this pass me that sort of thing uh, gosh I'm glad it's over though it, it was pretty hard work and it was so windy so incredibly windy and cold and, and of course the doors were open because uh, they were in and out with various things anyway i'm now going to have my cup of tea so um see you next time <laughs> bye